Once you hit a certain power level in Beyond Light, you will start seeing these on Europa, Legend Lost Sectors. If you're trying to acquire any new piece of exotic armor, aren't we all? Soloing these is your best bet. However, soloing endgame PvE content can be really, really annoying. Take it from me. The good news, though, is that these are totally doable and I'm gonna take you through it. Okay, obviously the first thing you need to worry about is your power level. The recommended power for Legend Lost Sectors is 1250, and Masters are 1280. I soloed my first Legend at about 1225 power level overall. Don't get me wrong, it was hard and annoying, but I did it. Naturally, you want to make sure your power level isn't too low, or you just won't be strong enough. If you're within 20-ish light levels of the recommended power, it should be doable with practice. The two biggest challenges you're going to face in the Lost Sectors are number one, time, and number two, champions. Let's start with the latter. So far, I've only had to deal with both barrier and overload champions. I don't know if there's Lost Sectors that will eventually contain unstoppable champions, but those are kind of the least of my worries because unstoppable champions don't regen their health but barrier and overload champions do. So, how do you deal with those annoying ass goblin champions constantly regenning their health if you're all alone? Here's the trick. Go into your artifact and gaze upon your new salvation. Thermal Overload and Surge Eater. These two armor mods, in combination with each other, allow you to eternally disrupt overload champions. Thermal Overload allows your solar or stasis grenades to disrupt champions, and Surge Eater immediately recharges your grenade when you disrupt a champion. So, if an Overload champion is far away from you, which was the case over in the Concealed Void Lost Sector over Hya, you can stand far away and repeatedly throw well-timed nades over and over for an eternal disruption chain. Easy. For today's Legend Lost Sector, Perdition, the champions are far more frequently up in your grill, so even though Surge Eater and Thermal Overload is a hot combo, I might actually recommend this instead. Thermal Overload and Spoils of War. Defeating a champion by using a finisher spawns heavy ammo. In the Perdition Lost Sector, I found that literally every champion I killed was from point blank with a finisher, so I went with spoils of war. Again, for the Concealed Void Lost Sector, repeated long-range nade throwing might be better, unless you like to live dangerously. Side note, also for the Concealed Void Lost Sector, which I really wish I'd recorded footage of the other day, I wasn't able to get close to finish a few of the anti-barrier champs either. For them, I used Ariana's Vow, which was a win-win, because on that Lost Sector, the extra damage burn was solar. Here's my general rule of thumb. If the champions can't get to you, surge Eater for eternal downtown grenade disruption, and maybe Ariana's Vow, because it hits like a truck. However, if the champions are up in your snatch 24-7, Thermal Overload and Spoils of War. Stun them up close, deal a butt-ton of damage immediately, and use a finisher for more heavy ammo. One thing to pay close attention to are the Lost Sector modifiers. Today, i.e. November 15th, the day of me putting up this video, hopefully, you should take note that incoming arc and aerial damage is increased, so you should try to stay on the ground if you're being shot, even though sometimes we all forget because we are human. And most importantly, each Lost Sector has an extra damage burn. For lone Miasma, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that perfectly, means void damage hits harder against you, but also from you. With that in mind, I want to make sure that at least one option I have is a void weapon, that way I can hit enemies harder. Also with match game, which is extremely annoying, you gotta make sure all shield options in each Lost Sector are covered. So far, I've only encountered two out of three possible elemental shields per each Lost Sector. In Perdition, those two are Arc and Void. Therefore, I was sure to bring one Arc and one Void option. I've got anti-barrier rounds on my Gauntlet armor to deal with the anti-barrier champions, and my Overload grenades from the Artifact perk for the annoying Overload champions. And there you go! everything covered. When going into a Lost Sector for the first time, you might have to run it a few times to figure out which elemental shields you'll need to cover. Then you can just tweak your loadout from there. Alright, now to talk about what'll weigh you down aside from the champions, and that is time. You want to be cautious to try and not sprint through the entire Lost Sector, saving time, because you will get absolutely pounded if you're too low of a light level. You have to stay back and take your time killing enemies for now, but not too much time, because when the 15 minute mark on your timer is reached, 
all your remaining lives will go away, and your next death will be an auto-wipe. So try to get to the final boss without too much time left on the clock, and if you run out of time, be extremely careful. Up until the 15 minute mark though, remember you have revives, and that every time you kill a champion, you get one extra revive. Subclass-wise, I recommend either a Solar or Stasis class for now, again, because the perk Thermal Overload requires you to be on a Fiery or Icy class. As to which class, I'm gonna recommend something with a Roaming Super. Why that over a defensive super like Well of Radiance? There were times I really appreciated the extra damage output from my Dawnblade. Use whatever works for you. And that's pretty much it. Oh, final thing, final thing. Remember that exotic drops aren't guaranteed if you beat a Lost Sector solo. I know, that's probably really lame to hear. You may have to run a Lost Sector three or four times before getting a drop. Don't worry, you'll get it in time, and each time you beat a Lost Sector, you'll be more knowledged and more experienced. All right, I'm gonna let one of my full runs play out. This is one of my earlier runs, i.e. it's not very clean and I die a bunch, but that's kind of the point, that even if you don't play perfectly, even if you're not a cracked PvE player, you can still get this hard Lost Sector done. Good luck, may RNG be with you on your exotic drop, subscribe to my channel for more guides, and I will see you next time.